Keila here with my layout for UK Scrap Addicts. This month's theme is um, selfies. So I've picked this photo, well this selfie, of me and my son TJ. It's very rare that I have a selfie to, you know, take a selfie of just myself. Um, usually it's with one of the kids or, you know, occasionally um, me and Tom take a selfie together. Um, now I've chose this selfie because I actually really hate how I look on this one. Um, but even though I don't like the photo of me, um, I love that it's a photo of me and my son. Um, it's not, you know, he's, he's now eight, so it's quite embarrassing doing things like this with, with mommy now. Um, he actually thinks he's a teenager, the way he acts. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's the reason I'm scrapping this photo, because it's a photo I don't like of myself. Um, but I love the photo because it's of me and my son. So anyway, I'll talk about the layout now. Um, what I did um, before I started recording the process, I cut out this sunbeam on my silhouette and um, I stuck that down on the background and I machine stitched through each of the rays. Uh, I'm now back in my photo with just a few scrap pieces of paper just to put a few layers behind the photo um, as scrapbookers don't really <laughs> waste any little bits so you know if you can use it behind your photo then it doesn't matter if there's big chunks chopped out of it. Um, I've also picked out which you can see on my desk there um, a card which I cut out from one of the cutter, by, cutter part sheets in this collection. Um, I can't actually remember the days of uh, the name of this collection. I think it's called Summer Days or Sunny Days. Um, it's from Echo Park. Um, and now I've just decided I'm going to ruffle up the edges of the sun rays, but because I'd already glued it down, um, I had to use my pokey tool just to lift it a little bit so that I could distress the edges a little bit. And I think that adds so much um, more detail to the layout. <coughs> um, this is actually a really, really quick process video. Uh, the whole layout actually was really quick. I don't really do too much. It's you know quick and simple, um, but I really like how it looks. Uh, I've stuck down the card and now I'm sticking down my photo. And I'm going to start choosing a couple of embellishments shortly. Um, I do pop my photo up on form because I wanted it to be, you know, the focal point of my layout. Like, you know, we, we want our photos to be the focal point. And now I'm pulling in the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I've got some enamel dots for this collection. I didn't buy the chipboard and things like that. I find it's too bulky um, for, and you know, quite large and bulky for my size of scrapbooking. So I'm pulling out a couple of stickers. I've got a pineapple there. I try the flamingo. Um, I've also got um, a sticker that says summer days and an ice lolly. And I, again, I don't really add too many embellishments because I think the page is quite busy with the the sunbeam in the background. Um, I'm just trying out a few more things. I picked this sticker here. It's a little word sticker that says summer. Um, I actually think this photo was taken in spring because our spring seems to be a lot hotter than our summers. We tend to get rain over the summer. Um, and now I'm having a look at a couple of a couple of the enamel dots and I'll just pick some in matching colours. Um, I think I do come back in and add some foam. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I'm adding some foam behind the stickers uh, just to pop a few things up and add different levels of dimension throughout the layout and as well because of the me distressing the sunbeams it made it quite uneven to stick things down so I'm just deciding now whether I want to tuck the the pineapple in um, because it did go over my face a little bit on the on the photo so I do decide to um, tuck that in between the paper layers and add some foam on the back of that because my photo is raised so I needed to pop that up and the same again with the the pink ice lolly. 
um, and I just pop that on that sticker on top. So here's some close up so you can really see the um, dimension from um, distressing those edges and ruffling it up a little bit on the sunbeam. Thank you for watching if, and if you haven't already please join us on the UK Scrap Addicts Facebook group um, and scrap a selfie. Thank you, bye.